rumors spread around in that Texas town. About to check outside. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, James. Just letting you know you got to show your shave signs. Steve. So, Steve was out there and he realized that he had to move from being unclean into showing some shave signs. So, in honor of that, I went ahead and uh, went OG. I got some Thres Flotas water-based molding pomade. And just for some extra shine, I th threw in the brilliant team. And for today's shade, this is part of the YouTube pass around. Thank you again, Mr. Christopher Bailey. This is going to be for the Shave Revolution. Can't really see it because it's kind of wiped off from pulling it all out of the packet here. Shave Revolution, the Aficionado Tobacco Vanilla. And what I can tell you, just off the bat, is it's another scent because of the vanilla probably that has a slight sweetness to it when you smell it bloomed um, I would say for me not more of a uh, finished like what you would smell in smoking tobacco but more of a floral type scent is what I'm pulling from it and it smells good so I'm excited to use it it's a, again it's a very soft soap more like a cream uh, that you would get in like a tub like a uh, Tobbs or Parasso cream that you get in the tub and uh, so that's the consistency of it it's a little brownish and that's probably due to the uh, vanilla that's in it because usually a lot of people they when they say a hey, the soap will have like some browning to it and it's usually because of vanilla um, all right, I'm going to do uh, partly with the gold dollar 66 just to see how finished the edge is. I took this through all synthetics 1K through 8K and then I finished it on a ch Chinese 12K, uh, went at least 100 laps on it. On, the t on that stone and I think it's ready I'm pretty sure at this point it just comes down to how's it gonna shave uh, didn't use any diamond spray or pastes or anything like that after it just finished it, stropped it and now I'm gonna see what it shaves like uh, for the brush I'll be using the sterling the big one with the Plasson like fibers and I will be primarily using my Ray Pope gift of this shit Krona loaded with the fourth use of a silver blue so here we go let's get it on I'm gonna wet my face real quick and I'll be right back alright I'm back also, what I did is I went ahead and just wet the synthetic, shaking it out. Um, I had this blooming for a little bit, but it doesn't really take that much to bloom it since it's so soft. I did it mostly because I wanted to smell it. Again, this is in my Lady C Creations bug. All right, gonna dip the tips just lightly. Since I didn't really put a whole lot of bloom water in it, per se, 
I don't have any of that, so I'm just going to my basin that's filled here with uh, warm water, medium to hot warm. Alright. Pretty much the same as far as consistency as uh, the other one. You know, the ingredients are the same as the uh, executive editor. All right, here we go. Steve. Thank you for taking the time, man, getting all this stuff together with the Dirty South Shavers Meetup, October 17th, which is a Saturday in Huntsville, Alabama. And also, thank you, Cybert family, for October 16th, Friday, Eve, for the get-together you're going to have at your place. Thank you, Soap Commander. Hope you all can make it. So the old Rocket City Shaver. Learning how to get it done. thing about Steve is he's like man I want to be in it's like well you know what's required if you want to be in and he said I'm willing and pretty much every shave there's always blood because Steve wants to be in all right there we go Creamy goodness, melted ice cream. And that's what it looks like after I load it. I'm just gonna rest it in here. And here we go. Warm the blade up. Set it down real quick. Rinse it out by ringing out my washcloth. Here we go. So that I have something to wipe it on. Alright, there we go. Try this again. Warm the blade up. Let's see. The scent is really nice. It was good. Not bad at all so far. Very nice. Again, really good consistency to this uh, soap. Nice and hydrated, good body. I hadn't shaved uh, since Thursday when I went to the barber shop. Legends in Collierville. Alright, so for right now that's where I'm going to stop on it. It feels really good. Um, I'm going to continue with the Chrono. Wipe it off real quick so there's no 
usage, we'll jump on the edge, close it, and set it to the side. There we go. Again, this is the silver blue fourth use. Feels really good in the shit Krona. If I wanted to, I could push it one more, but I four and that's it. For any DE blade for me, unless I'm just in a pinch. I think this blade and this razor were made for each other. It feels really nice. All right, I'm gonna rinse off and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Pass two. Not number two, Steve Quachino. There we go. No irritation, no discomfort. Everything feels good. So that's good as far as for the ingredients. There we go. Let's see what we got. It was a nice round table last night. I uh, enjoyed seeing Ryan Stephen Green on there and Douglas and both of them kind of talking about their history together and um, just kind of how that all came about. So that was really cool to hear. Really nice. All right. Let's see what it feels like here. Really good. Maybe just a little bit more tuggier uh, than what a finer stone would give me, or maybe just a little bit more time even uh, to try to maximize the, the Chinese stone a little bit more. But overall, I mean, that's still not bad. It didn't feel uncomfortable. I could just feel it tugging. Um, no redness, though. So that's good. All right. him off real quick. Again, that was the gold dollar 66 synthetic stones through 8k and then a Chinese natural 12k to finish. I'm gonna dry it off real quick and I'll be back at the end of the shave to talk more about the soap. So I'll be back a little bit later. Thank you. All right everyone, I'm back. Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Mm. 
really nice. And, uh, pretty smooth. Always nice. Alright. Let's see here. What do we have in here? Here's the brush. Did three passes. A little bit of moisture in there. A huge knot. Not too much though. There we go. Pretty much cleaned out. Set that over here. Take it. Nice and peaky, whippy. Let's roll it around just a little bit. That same nice texture that I got from the executive editor from Shave Revolution. So, uh, seems spot on as far as replicating their formula, and just the scent is different. So, very nice. Very nice. A really clean, sweet, lightly floral scent. Ah, just really nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's a heavy scent. Medium, probably like a 4.5 to my nose out of 10 but man again nice body it really doesn't take a whole lot of product I'm gonna rinse the dried lather away that was built up just so you can see That's what's left after moving it around and whatnot because it is a softer consistency like a cream really and so um, that's what's left that's a pretty good amount that's left they give me a three pass shave plus the lather that you just saw in a brush that can hold a lot of lather so you know pretty good um, all right so Finish off real quick. Wring out this washcloth one more time. I'm always wiping up and stuff like that as I finish up. So I'll be right back. All right. Gonna finish off with the fine platinum. Such a nice, manly, lightly mentholated scent. On Tata Slap for Hyman. Get some of this here. Do the old suave. And that's it. So, thank you again, everybody, for watching. Have a blessed Sunday. Hope everything goes well for this coming week for you. And until I see you next time. Show your shave signs. If anyone wants to be a part of the showing the shave sign, join on in. Uh, didn't think of it as being an event, but I'd love to see if anyone responds. So even if you just do a photo, you don't have to do a video, but videos are always cool. Uh, God bless. Thanks.